Socia Copyright Tar Copyright Cartier Designs, manufactures, distributes and sells jewelry and watches. Founded in Paris, France in 1847 by Louis Prenna Section Wa Cartier, the company remained under family control until 1964. The company maintains its headquarters in Paris and is now a wholly owned subsidiary of the Compagnie Financière Richemont S.A. Cartier is well known for its jewelry and wrist watches, including the Bestiary, the diamond necklace created for Bupinder Singh the Maharaja of Patiala and the first practical wrist watch, the Santos, of 1904. Cartier has a long history of sales to royalty and celebrities A Euro King Edward VII of England referred to Cartier as the jeweler of kings and the king of jewelers. For his coronation in 1902, Edward VII ordered 27 tiaras and issued a royal warrant to Cartier in 1904. Similar warrants soon followed from the courts of Spain, Portugal, Russia, Siam, Greece, Serbia, Belgium, Romania, Egypt, Albania, Monaco, and the House of Orleans. History equals family ownership equals Louis Frenna Section Wa Cartier founded Cartier in Paris in 1847 when he took over the workshop of his master. In 1874, Louis Frenna Section Wa's son Alfred Cartier took over the company, but it was Alfred's sons Louis, Pierre and Jacques, who were responsible for establishing the brand name worldwide. In 1904, the Brazilian pioneer aviator, Alberto Santos Dumont complained to his friend Louis Cartier of the unreliability and impracticality of using pocket watches while flying. Cartier designed a flat wrist watch with a distinctive square bezel. This watch was liked by not only Santos Dumont but also many other customers. Thus the Santos was born. This was Cartier's first men's wrist watch. Louis retained responsibility for the Paris branch moving to the Rue de la Pax in 1899. He was responsible for some of the company's most celebrated designs, like the mystery clocks, fashionable wristwatches and exotic orientalist art deco designs, including the colorful Tutti Frutti jewels. In 1907, Cartier signed a contract with Edmund Jaeger, who agreed to exclusively supply the movements for Cartier watches. By this time, Cartier had branches in London, New York and St. Petersburg and was quickly becoming one of the most successful watch companies in the world. The Begner and Torchy models were introduced in 1912, followed by the Tank model in 1917. This, designed by Louis Cartier, was inspired from the newly introduced tanks on the Western Front. This line too has survived, with over 30 varieties made since. In the early 1920s, Cartier formed a joint company with Edward Jaeger to produce movements solely for Cartier. Thus was the European Watch and Clock Company born, although Cartier continued to use movements from other makers. Cartier watches can be found with movements from Varan Constantin, Audemars Piguet, Movado and Le Coulter. It was also during this period that Cartier began adding its own reference numbers to the watches it sold, usually by stamping a four-digit code on the underside of a lug. Jacques took charge of the London operation and eventually moved to the current address at New Bond Street. Pierre Cartier established the New York City branch in 1909, moving in 1917 to 653 Fifth Avenue, the neo-Renaissance mansion of Morton Freeman plant and designed by architect C.P.H. Gilbert. Cartier acquired the mansion from the plants in exchange for $100 in cash and a double-stranded natural pearl necklace valued at the time at $1 million. Among the Cartier team was Charles Jacquier, who joined Louis Cartier in 1909 for the rest of his life, and Jean Toussaint, who was director of fine jewelry from 1933. After the death of Pierre in 1964, Jean-Jacques Cartier, Claude Cartier, and Marion Claude de Euro who respectively headed the Cartier affiliates in London, New York and Paris a Euro sold the businesses. Equals post family ownership equals. In 1972, a group of investors led by Joseph Canui bought Cartier Paris. President Robert Hock, who created the phrase Les Musques de Cartier with Alain Dominique Perrin, general director, began introducing new products. In 1974 and 1976 respectively, the group repurchased Cartier London and Cartier New York. In 1979, the Cartier interests were combined, 
Cartier Monde uniting and controlling Cartier Paris, London and New York. Cartier merged in 1981 with Les Musques de Cartier, and Perrin was appointed chairman of Cartier SAA and Cartier International. The next year, Michael Canui assumed responsibility for jewelry design and launched her first collection Nouvelle Jewelry. In 1984, Perrin founded the Fondation Cartier pour l'art contemporain to bring Cartier into the 21st century, by forming an association with living artists. In 1986, the French Ministry for Culture appointed Perrin head of the Mission sur la Messenet d'Entreprise. Two years later, Cartier acquired a majority holding in Piaget and Baum and Mercier. Indiana, 1989-1990 The Messie du Petit Palais staged the first major exhibition of the Cartier collection, L'Art de Cartier. Perrin founded an international committee in 1991, Comet International de la Haute Hollagerie, to organize its first salon, held on April 15, 1991. This has become an annual meeting place in Geneva for professionals. The next year, the second great exhibition of L'Art de Cartier was held at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. In 1993, the Vendôme Luxury Group was formed as an umbrella company to combine Cartier, Alfred Dunhill, Montblanc, Piaget, Baum and Mercier, Karl Lagerfeld, Cloa Copyright, Sulker, Hackett, Seeger. In 1994, the Cartier Foundation moved to the Rive Gauche and opened a headquarters in a building designed for it by Jean Nouvelle. Following the accidental death of Robert Hock in December of that year, his sister, Brigitte Hock, became chairman. Joseph Canui became vice president of Cartier Monde. The next year, a major exhibition of the Cartier Antique Collection was held in Asia. In 1996, the Lausanne Hermitage Foundation in Switzerland hosted the exhibition Splendors of the Jewelry, presenting 150 years of products by Cartier. As of 2012, Cartier is owned, through Richemont, by the South African Rupert family and 24-year-old who is the granddaughter of Pierre Cartier, L. Pagels. Retail Stores Cartier operates more than 200 stores in 125 countries, with three temples worldwide, Paris, 13, Rue de la Paix, London, 175-177 New Bond Street, New York, 653 Fifth Avenue, in September 2008, Cartier opened its first flagship store in Seoul, South Korea, named Cartier Maison located in Kyungdong, Gangnam Gai, with its facade inspired by Korean bajaji wrapping cloth. Helmed by managing director Philippe Gaulty, he said at the time of opening that it was the seventh largest in the world. Products. Equals jewelry equals. By collections, Aimlet de Cartier, Love. Panthery de Cartier, Paris Nouvelle Vague, Trinity de Cartier, Jusson Uncle, Diamonds Ledgers de Cartier, Diamond Collection, Trinity Rubin, Caress d'Orchid de Copywriters Park Art, C de Cartier, Intrelaces, Cartier Fauna and Flora, Evasions Julia Res, Links and Chains, Hearts and Symbols, Pearl Jewelry, Colorful Jewelry, A Graph. Categories, Rings, Bracelets, Necklaces, Earrings, Brooches, Charms. Equals watches equals. Cartier has developed many different watches. The classic collections are men's watches, Ballon Bleu de Cartier, Tank, Caliber de Cartier, Claire de Cartier, Santos de Cartier, Rotund Cartier, Ronde Croissier de Cartier, Ronde Louis Cartier, Ronde Solo de Cartier, Tortue, Pasha de Cartier. Women's watches, Tank, Ballon Bleu de Cartier, Claire de Cartier, Wagner, Pasha de Cartier, Santos de Cartier, Creative Jeweled Watches, Crash, Tortue, Ronde Louis Cartier, Ron Solo de Cartier. Equals Accessories Equals Leather Goods, Handbags, Women's Small Leather Goods, Men's Small Leather Goods, Women's Belts, Men's Belts, Agenda Refills. Eyewear, Precious Eyewear, Women's Sunglasses, Men's Sunglasses, Women's Opticals, Men's Opticals. Fine objects, writing instruments, cuff links, scarves, lighters, key rings, money clips, home collection. Timeline, 1847, Louis Frenet section Wa Cartier inherited the jewellery workshop at 29, 
Rue Montorgueil in Paris from his master Adolf Picard, founding the House of Cartier, 1856, Princess Matilda, niece of Napoleon I and cousin to Emperor Napoleon III, made her first purchase from Cartier, 1859, Cartier moved the workshop to 9, Boulevard des Italiens. Empress Yuga Copyright Nye, wife of Napoleon III and Regent of France, became a Cartier client. 1888, creation of the First Lady's Jewelry Bracelet Watch. 1899, Cartier moved into the its present-day headquarters at 13, Rue de la Pax, 1900, introduction of various styles of neoclassical jewelry mounted in platinum, which became exceptionally popular amongst aristocrats. 1902, Cartier opened a new shop at 4 New Burlington Street in London, on the same day as the coronation of King Edward VII. 1904, Cartier received its first appointment as official purveyor to King Edward VII of the United Kingdom. His consort, Queen Alexandra bought a necklace designed with Indian influence. Later that year, Cartier received another appointment as the purveyor for King Alfonso XIII of Spain. The first Santos watch was created by Louis Cartier, as he designed a watch to be worn on wrist with a leather strap for his friend Alberto Santos Dumont, a Brazilian aviator. 1905, appointment as the official purveyor for King Carlos I of Portugal. 1906, the creation of first jewelry designed to incorporate the Art Deco style, characterized by its abstract and geometric variations. The first one new wristwatch was also created this year. 1907, Cartier held its first exhibition and sale in St. Petersburg, at the Grand Hotel Europe. Shortly after, it was appointed as official purveyor to Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. 1908, appointment as official purveyor to King Shirley Longhorn of Siam, 1909 second shop in London was opened at 175 to 176 New Bond Street in London. Pierre Cartier later opened a second shop in New York as well, at 712 Fifth Avenue. A folding buckle for wrist watches was patented in this year. 1910, Pierre Cartier sold the Blue Hope Diamond to an American customer, Evelyn Walsh McLean. 1911, official launch of the Santos de Cartier wristwatch, inspired by the 1904 model. Jack Cartier traveled to India to attend the Delhi Dabar, and to the Persian Gulf. 1912, creation of the first mystery clock, model AA delegation from the city of Paris presented Tsar Nicholas II with the Cartier Imperial Egg. The first baguette cut diamonds made an appearance. Launch of the Torture Watch. The first comet clocks were created. 1913, appointment as official purveyor to King Peter I of Serbia. 1914, the bezel on a lady's round wrist watch was paved with diamonds and onyx to create the first panther motif. Appointment as official purveyor to Duke Philippe of Orleans, 1917, the New York store moved to 653 Fifth Avenue, previously the home of Morton F. Plant, which Pierre Cartier bought in exchange for a double-strand necklace of 55 and 73 natural pearls. First studies conducted for the tank watch. 1918. Creation of Battens for Field Marshals Foching Park Copyright Tame. 1919, Launch of the Tank Watch. Establishment, in New York, of the European Watch and Clock Company Incorporated. Appointment as official purveyor to King Albert I of Belgium, 1921. Appointment as official purveyor to the Prince of Wales, future King Edward VIII who, on abdicating in 1936, became the Duke of Windsor. Creation of the Tank Centra Copyright E-Watch. 1922, Creation of the Tank Louis Cartier and Tank Genoise Watches. 1923, Creation of the First Portico Mystery Clock, crowned with a statuette called Billiken. 1924, Creation of the Three-Band Ring and Bracelet Combining Gold and Three Colors, known in the United States as Trinity. Jean Coteau adopted the ring and made it fashionable among Parisian society. 1924, Queen Marie of Romania wears a Cartier tiara created to resemble the Russian Kokoschnik for her portrait painted by Philippe de la Cubed. 1925, Cartier made a memorable appearance at the International Exhibition of Modern Industrial and Decorative Arts in Paris, in the Pavilion de la Permille la Copyright Gants. 
Death of Alfred Cartier, 1926, Creation of the Baguette Watch. Cartier jewelry in its red box appeared on the Broadway stage in Anita Lou's play Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, 1928, Marjorie Merriweather post bought from Cartier in London earrings once worn by Queen Marie Antoinette of France. Creation of the Torches Single Push Piece Chronograph Watch. 1929, appointment as official purveyor to King Fuad I of Egypt and participation in the exhibition of French arts in Cairo. Creation of the Tanga Guichet's Watch. 1931, creation of the Mystery Pocket Watch. 1932, creation of the Tank Basculanti Watch. 1933, Jean Toussaint was made head of Cartier Fine Jewelry. Cartier filed a patent for the invisible mount, a stone setting technique in which the metal of the mount disappears to show only the stones. 1935, Cartier opened in Monte Carlo. 1936, Creation of the Tank Asima Copyright Trick Watch. 1938, Cartier opened in Cannes. One of the smallest wristwatches in the world, by Cartier, was given to Princess Elizabeth of the United Kingdom. 1939, appointment as official purveyor to King Zog I of Albania. 1940, General de Gaulle founded the Free France Movement in London, for which he received Cartier's steadfast support. Some of his speeches were written in the office which Jacques Cartier placed at the general's disposal. 1942, creation of the caged bird brooch as a symbol of the occupation. In 1944, Cartier created the freed bird to celebrate the liberation of France. 1945, Pierre Cartier was now the head of Cartier Paris. Claude, Louis' son, took the helm of Cartier New York while Jean-Jacques Cartier, Jacques' son, was the head of Cartier London. 1947, Cartier celebrated its centennial. 1949, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor bought a platinum panther brooch on a 152.35 carat cashmere kabok and sapphire in Paris. Cartier would buy the brooch for its own collection in 1987. 1950, creation of a watch in the form of a ship's wheel. The Hollywood actress Gloria Swanson appeared in Sunset Boulevard wearing the two diamond and rock crystal bracelets that she had bought from Cartier in 1930. 1953, Marilyn Monroe sang Cartier. In the film version of Gentlemen Preferred Blondes, 1954, creation for the Duchess of Windsor of a loaf net in yellow gold, black enamel and emeralds representing a tiger. 1955, Creation of Jean Coteau's sword for his election to the Arcade Copyright My Frontier Section as, to the artist's own design. 1956, for her marriage to Prince Rainier, Princess Grace received numerous gifts of jewellery by Cartier including her engagement ring, set with a 12-carat emerald cut diamond. 1957, Barbara Hutton bought a tiger brooch in yellow gold, onyx and jonquil diamonds. 1967, Creation of new watches in London including the Crash Watch, 1968, the Mexican actress Mara Afar Copyright Licks commissioned Cartier to make a diamond necklace in the form of a serpent. Cartier granted Robert Hock a license to create an oval lighter with a retractable wheel under the Cartier name. Creation of a Marxi oval watch. 1969, Robert Kenmore, the chairman of Cartier's parent company, acquired a 69.42-carat pear-shaped diamond which it sold to Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. The Cartier diamond was thus renamed the Taylor-Burton diamond. Opening of Cartier in Geneva. Creation of the Love Bracelet. 1970, opening of Cartier in Hong Kong, 1971, opening of Cartier in Munich. 1972, Cartier Paris was taken over by a group of investors led by Joseph Canui. 1973, creation of Les Muster Cartier by Robert Hock with Alain Dominique Perrin. 1974, launch of the first leather collection in Burgundy. Cartier loaned a large part of its Art Deco jewelry collection for the filming of The Great Gatsby. 1975, Cartier celebrated the centenary anniversary of the birth of Louis Cartier. Opening in Monte Carlo of the first major retrospective, Louis Cartier. Art Deco Masterpieces. 1976, first collection of Les Muster Cartier Vermeil watches. Retrospective in New York titled Retrospective Louis Cartier, 
101 years of the jewelry Euro unregistered trademark S art. Creation of the first oval pen. The Cartier name appears on a designer edition of Ford's Lincoln Continental Mark IV for 1976, and would continue on through the 2003 model year. 1978, creation of the Santos de Cartier watch with a gold and steel bracelet. Creation of the first Cartier scarf collection. 1979, Cartier Paris, Cartier London and Cartier New York were united as a single legal entity. 1981, launch of the Must de Cartier and Santos de Cartier perfumes. 1982, launch of the first new jewelry collection on the theme of gold and stones. 1983, creation of the collection Ancienne Cartier to record and illustrate how the jewelry Euro unregistered trademark S art and its history have evolved. Creation of the Panthere de Cartier watch. 1984, Launch of the second new jewelry collection on the theme of gold and pearls. Creation of the Fondation Cartier Pour la Euro unregistered trademark art contemporaine in Julien Josas. Cartier became partner to the International Polo Tournament in Windsor, United Kingdom, 1985. Launch of the Pasha de Cartier watch. 1986. Launch of the third new jewelry collection on the theme of the Panther. 1987. Launch of the Panthere de Cartier perfume. Creation of Les Maisons de Cartier tableware. 1988, launch of the fourth new jewelry collection on the theme of Egypt. 1989, launch of the Tank Armour copyright Recane watch. The Art of Cartier, the first major retrospective in Paris, was held at the Petit Palais. 1991, establishment of the Comité Copyright International de la Haute Hollagerie. The first Salon International de la Haute Hollagerie was held in Geneva. 1992 The Art of Cartier exhibition was held at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. 1994 The Fondation Cartier Pour la Euro unregistered trademark art contemporain moved to the left bank in Paris to a building on Boulevard Raspail, the work of the architect Jean Nouvel. 1995 Creation of the Pasha Sea Watch in Steel. Launch of the So Pretty de Cartier perfume. The Art of Cartier, the World of French Jewelry Art Exhibition was held at the Tokyo Metropolitan Terran Art Museum in Japan. 1996, creation of the Tank for Les Sectionnaires Watch Collection. Launch of the sixth new jewelry collection on the theme of creation. Creation of the Tank Ring. Cartier, Splendors of Jewelry, a retrospective exhibition was held at the Hermitage Foundation in Lausanne, Switzerland. 1997, Cartier celebrated its 150th anniversary with exceptional fine jewellery creations including a necklace in the form of a serpent, paved with diamonds and set with two pear-cut emeralds of 205 and 206 carats. The Cartier 1900-1939 retrospective was held at the British Museum in London and the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. 1998, creation of the collection Privé Copyright e Cartier Paris Vine Watch Collection. 1999, creation of the Paris Nouvelle Vague Cartier Jewelry Collection, inspired by Paris. The Art of Cartier, a Splendor of Time retrospective was held at the Museo del Palacio de Bellas Art in Mexico City with guest of honor the Mexican actress Mara Afar Copyright Licks. The Cartier 1900-1939 exhibition moved to the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, 2000, creation of a jewelry collection to take Cartier into the 21st century. 2001, creation of the dark copyright license de Cartier jewelry collection. Launch of the Roadster Watch. Cartier displayed the ceremonial necklace made for the Maharaja of Patiala at the 21st Biennale des Antiquaires in Paris. The intersection of Fifth Avenue and 52nd Street in New York is temporarily named Place de Cartier to celebrate restoration and reopening of the Cartier Mansion, 2002, creation of the Tank de Van Watch. The Cartier design viewed by Sotsis exhibition was shown at the Vitra Design Museum in Berlin and the Palazzo Real in Milan. It would later travel to the Deagogi Temple in Kyoto in the Houston Museum of Fine Arts, 2003. Launch of the La Beza du Dragon and Les Dar copyright lices de Goa jewelry collections. The Kimberley process was implemented and Cartier immediately adopted measures to end trade in conflict diamonds. 
Cartier contributed to the Jean Coteau, spanning the Century Exhibition at the Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris. Cartier opened a shop at 154, Avenue des Champs a Permel les copywriters in Paris. The intersection of Fifth Avenue and 52nd Street in New York was officially named Place de Cartier. 2004, marking the centenary of the Santos de Cartier watch, creation of the Santos 100, Santos de Moiselle and Santos Dumont watches. Cartier presented The Art of Cartier, a retrospective exhibition at the Shanghai Museum. Presentation of the Star of the South Diamond at the 22nd Biennale des Antiquaires in Paris. 2005, creation of the Caresse da Euro unregistered trademark Orca de Copyrighters par Cartier Fine Jewelry Collection. Creation of a bespoke perfume service at 13, Rue de la Paix. Cartier co founded the Council for Responsible Jewelry Practices. Cartier became an active member of the Women's Forum. 2006, creation of the Lado Plus or Minus a de Cartier watch. The first Love Charity International fundraising sale was held. Cartier presented a special award for female business entrepreneurs at the Women's Forum. 2007, creation of the Ind Mr. Copyright Rue's Fine Jewelry Collection. Creation of the Ballon Bleu de Cartier watch. The Cartier 1899-1949, The Journey of a Style exhibition was held at the Calouste Gulbenkian Foundation Museum in Lisbon. The Cartier Innovation through the 20th Century Exhibition was held at the Kremlin Museum in Moscow. 2008 The Art of Cartier at the National Museum of Art, Deuxchagung, of Seoul Creation of the Ballon Bleu Watch. 2009 Story of, Memories of Cartier Creation Exhibition, by Tokujin Yoshioka, at the Tokyo National Museum. Creation of the Santos 100 Skeleton Watch Cartier Treasures King of Jewelers, Jewelers to King's Exhibition at the Palace Museum, Beijing. Creation of the Secrets A. Merville's Fine Jewelry Collection Cartier and America Exhibition at the Legion of Honor, Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. 2011 Cartier Time A.R.T. Exhibition Art Directed by Tokujin Yoshioka. It was held at Museum Bellarive in Zurich 2011, and at Art Science Museum in Singapore in 2011 to 2012. 2012. Cartier announced the international release of its new Ladice de Cartier, a three-and-one-half-minute film showing Cartier's 165-year history. The film, directed by Bruno A. Vilan, was screened for the first time at a premiere hosted by Cartier at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York on February 29, 2012. Website blocking in October 2014 the first blocking order against trademark infringing consumer goods was passed against the major UK ISPs by Richmond, Cartier International and Montblanc to block several domains selling trademark infringing products. See also Fondation Cartier Paul Art Contemporain, Cartier Women's Initiative Awards, Cartier Racing Awards, Cartier Tank Watch, Cartier Love Bracelet References External links Cartier